Quite often in Excel, we need to find all instances where one cell links to another. Let's refer to these as precedent and dependent cells. For example, we might need to know what cells will be affected if we change the data in a single cell. Similarly, we might need to know changing which cells will have an impact on a specific cell. Numerous options exist for finding linked cells. For example, you could use Excel's Find and Select, Go to Special feature on the Home tab of the ribbon, and then choose Precedence or Dependence. Or, if you are running a version of Excel 2013 or Excel 2016 that provides access to the Inquire tab of the ribbon, you could use some of the tools found there to show all precedent and dependent cells. Perhaps the simplest option, though, for most users is to use one of Excel's formula auditing features, as shown in this tip. Suppose, for example, that you need to know what cells will be affected if you change the forecasted inflation rate in cell B6 of the worksheet currently shown from 2% to 3%. To do so, simply click in the cell of interest, in this case cell B6, and then choose Trace Dependence on the Formulas tab of the ribbon. Upon clicking Trace Dependence, Excel draws arrows so that you can quickly identify the first generation dependencies as currently shown. In this example, the cells that each arrow points to are directly dependent upon the values in cell B6. Now with these first generation dependencies identified, you can then click Trace Dependence a second time to identify second generation dependencies. And you can repeat this process as often as necessary in order to identify third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation, etc. dependencies. Of course, to remove all of the arrows, simply click Remove Arrows, also found on the Formula tab of the ribbon. Now, let's go in reverse. To identify all the cells that impact a single cell, first click on the cell of interest and then click Trace Precedence on the Formula tab of the ribbon. In this example, we first click on cell G21, the cell of interest, and then we click Trace Precedence. As you can see, cell G21 is directly dependent upon the values in cell B6, B8, G4, and G13. And as with Trace Precedence, you can click Trace Dependence multiple times to identify additional generations of relationships. Finally, sometimes when using Trace Precedence or Trace Dependence, you will notice a dashed line with a spreadsheet icon at the end pointing into a cell, similar to that currently pictured in the Trace Precedent example shown. This simply means that data affecting the cell resides in a different worksheet or a different workbook. To see a listing of all of the off-worksheet data, simply double-click on the dotted line and Excel will open the GoTo dialog box currently shown on the screen. In this example, there are two off-worksheet references impacting the currently selected cell. Of course, we can click on either of the off-worksheet references and then simply scroll to identify in this example the exact cells that are linking into this worksheet. Understanding the relationships between your data in an Excel spreadsheet is an integral part of ensuring the accuracy and integrity of your results. Multiple ways exist for identifying these relationships, but among the easiest to use are Excel's trace precedence and trace dependence tools found on the formula tab of the ribbon. So the next time you need to identify how your data links together, be sure to consider these tools. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.